as a developer, you're no doubt familiar with Stack Overflow. It's a question answer community where people can answer or ask questions and get answers on a variety of development related topics. But what if you have some ideas, some other way to interact with Stack Overflow that's not supported by the website? There is a Stack Exchange API. This API works across all the Stack Exchange network, which includes Stack Overflow and a number of other sites as well. Here's a list of all the uh, methods you can use on the API. We're going to take a look at the questions endpoint. It has documentation on it here, and then it has a little ability where you can come in here and customize it. So I've already gone in here and added that I'm going to look for questions tagged Delphi, but we can change the order, dates, and stuff like that. And then you can come in here and mess with the filters, which lets you change the way the data is returned and what kind of data you get back. I've already done some configuration on that, so I'll just go ahead and use the configuration I have. So to use this, if you come in here to the tools menu in Rad Studio, there is the REST debugger. And what this does is lets you experiment with REST endpoints and then create and configure the components to use in your application. So I'm gonna come in here and grab the uh, link location. And the way I'm gonna split this up is here, I'm gonna put the, uh, this is the main API endpoint, 2.2, and we'll say it is JSON parameters. Uh, so the resource is questions. And where that comes from is right here, questions. And then I'm just gonna add in the parameters here that I want to use. So let me just resize this here so I can work with that. So I'm gonna add a parameter for so site right there. And I think order and sort are automatic or you don't need them. It just defaults that automatically. So I'm gonna skip those for simplicity. Tagged, Delphi, and then add the filter here. And on this one, I'm gonna say do not encode. So it doesn't do the URL encoding on that. So I think that's everything I need to try this. So I can hit send request and this will send the rest request to the server. And we see we got a result back here in JSON. And if we look here, the result is a list of items. So if I come here and look at it, I don't see anything interesting. But if I say the root element is items and then hit apply, we see now it's gone through and said, okay, here's a list of all the items you have. So now we have a list of data that came back from that REST service. So I'm gonna hit, hit copy components, minimize this out and create a new multi-device application. You could do this with VCL as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and do multi-device. Uh, VCL is Windows only, which has some times, if that's all you wanna do, the way VCL is great, but FireMonkey gives you the ability, or multi-device FireMonkey gives the ability to go across all platforms. And I could use one of these templates here, but I'm just gonna go with the blank application. Um, just because I think it's a little more interesting from a demo point of view. Put down the components. And let me go ahead and uh, spread these out a little bit better. So this is the REST client. This is what actually makes the connection to the server and it has the name of the API here. So this is what was on the first tab. The REST request points to the resource, which in this case is questions, and also has the parameters on it. So I could come in here if I wanted to change the parameter, for example, uh, let you search on a different tag, I could do that in here. So there's the tag and I could change that to whatever I wanted to. Likewise, if I wanted to say which page I wanted or things along those change, change the sort, those could be done through parameters as well. REST response is where the response, the JSON that comes back is placed. And then the data, data set adapter takes that JSON and puts it into this FD mem table, which is just a, a data set in memory. So if I go to the request and hit execute, it says it executed okay. And I come in here and say, edit data set, and I can see that I have the data here at design time. So let's go ahead and put this in a list view, and I'm gonna put down a header as well. Now, if I'd used one of the templates, I could have stuff like this already set up, but uh, I like doing it manually. So now I come here and say bind visually, and the rest FDMM table is where the data is, and I can give these more meaningful names, which I would do if I was production code, so but this is just a quick and simple demo. And I take the list view, which is that guy, and the FD mem table, which is this one here, and I connect the asterisk to sync, and that just keeps the rows in sync. And then I say I wanna put the um, title 
in the item text. And there we go, there's all the items there. Now I don't want to show all those non-visual components, so I'll just hide those there to give me a little better preview. And I want to tweak a couple things here. Accessory off there. Accessory is useful as a button if you want to have like some sort of action take place. Also notice I didn't go through and do deep decoding on this. I can do that, but just a couple more steps. There's a library for that. I just have to add a call for that. So now I just need to write a little code here. Uh, one thing that's great about Delphi is you can do a lot of stuff without code, obviously, as I'm doing this. Let me put a caption here on my form. But Delphi also gives you the ability to write as much code as you want. So we'll say on form show, we want to rest request dot execute. So one thing that what that means is that, for example, I can go in here and here is the rest client. See, there's a lot of code here to this. I didn't have to write this, but if I wanted to, I could have wrote it, right? I could come in here and I could make changes to this if I needed to as well or descend from REST client and make my own REST client. So Delphi is written in Delphi, so it's extensible. You can stay at the high level just using the components and libraries, integrating things together, or rewrite it from the ground up. It's up to you. So that's all the code I need to write. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this right now on Windows. And there it is. There's our REST client. Very simple REST client. There's not much to it. And I will point out that if I go into the REST debugger, there's another tab here for authentication where you can come in here and set up OAuth, OAuth2, et cetera, if you want to do something like that. So there's a lot more functionality here that's not apparent. Uh, it is automatically handling the encryption because it's HTTPS and the decompression because it's automatically sent back as a gzip even if you don't specify it as such. That's just the nature of the Stack Overflow API, but the REST client handles all that for you. So that's cool, it's on Windows. I can also, this is actually kind of interesting. I can come here and say on um, iPhone, I want to change this header to say on iOS. And now when I tar switch this over to iOS, it will play on iOS with a different header. So instead of you watching me deploy all these, I'm just gonna use the magic of editing and you can see it deploying on iOS, Windows, Mac OS, Android, and Linux, all from one code base, all with Delphi.